This is a DSA question based upon trees. We have been given a BST called T that contains n distinct elements. And from this tree, we have to determine the complexity of picking up an element that is smaller than the maximum element. So we don't need to return the smallest element. We just want any element that is smaller than the maximum element of that tree. Now it is a BST. So let us consider different cases that can be possible. Let us say case one, when there is just root, it has no children. Then coming to case two, in this case one, the root itself is the maximum element, right? And then coming to case two, here we will have root and left subtree, something like this. So here again we can see the root itself is the maximum element and now coming to case 3 when the root has both left children left subtree as well as the right subtree. Now in this case root is not the maximum element instead the last node in this right subtree will be the maximal element. So in all the three cases let us determine what will be the result. So we need to find out an element that is smaller than the maximum. In case one, we see that there is just the root that is maximal element itself and there is no node that is smaller than that. So in this case, we'll have to return null. But how will we check out that? We'll simply use the condition that if there is root left, if root is having the left subtree, if root left is also null, you can use this condition root left is null and similarly you will also check for root right is also null if that is true then you will return null so this there is no traversal involved in this code it will simply take a constant time so for case one we got a constant time so now if this condition is not true if both its left and right subtrees are not null means they are existing then you will check for the case two that if it is having left subtree but not the right subtree so here again you can use the condition if root left is not null and root right is null then that belongs to case two and again this if condition will take a constant time so once you are confirmed that it is case two then here what you will do here you cannot return root because that is the maximal element. So in this case, you will return root left, which means this node 5 can be returned and any below node can also be returned. But 5 is the first one that we encountered, which is smaller than the maximum. And returning 5 will only take a constant time. If you go on till the last node of this left subtree and then return that, then that will involve the entire traversal and it will take a linear time. But we just want an element that is smaller. So we'll go for the best case that is return five itself. And that can be done in constant time. So for case two also, we got a constant time. And then if this condition is also not satisfied, then you will check for this case three that both root left as well as root right are present if that is the case then you will understand that here root can definitely not be the maximum element because it is having a right subtree and because this is a bst then the right subtree of the root will have nodes having greater value than the root so this root is definitely not the maximum element so this root itself can be returned because this Ted for this root, this is the smaller element than maximum that is 25. So here 10 can be written. There are other candidates as well that can be written, but going with the best one, the one which we encountered first, that is also allowed. So here we will simply return the root and that can be done in constant time as well. So in all the three conditions, all the three cases, we got a constant time. How? We just need to execute one if condition, checking that if it is having left subtree or right subtree or none, that will definitely take a constant time. And then depending upon what has been returned by that if condition, 
we will be able to identify if it is case 1 2 or 3 if it is 1 then you will have to return null because here there is no node that is having the value less than the maximum because this root itself is maximum you can also add a case 0 there that there is no root at all but they have already given that t has n distinct elements so there is no need of this so then depending upon the result we will be able to determine if it is case 1 2 or 3 and then return the value accordingly for case 1 return null for case 2 return root left that is the root of the left subtree and for case 3 return the root itself so that is how this problem can be solved in just a constant time so the answer for this will be theta of 1